I want to go back real quick to something you said. You said no such thing as being broken, uh, yeah. as breaking your players. Care to mm-hmm. elaborate a little bit on that? I mean, as a dungeon master, if you create something that ends up breaking a player, I mean, it's just as easy to create something that can unbreak that player. Mm-hmm. Not specifically to thwart that player, but to make either your enemies or whatever else just as equally powerful. Um, I've made... I don't want to call it a mistake, but we did a one-shot, you know? I gave you uh, two legendary oh. items that made your fighter absolutely broken, oh, and yes. it ended up wrecking the whole one-shot, but I didn't I did care. Like it made you feel... like damage in a turn? <laughs> or... Yeah, it was like Hammer of Thunderbolts, and I gave you the it was unreal. the Storm Giant Strength belt. So you had a 29 Strength with a plus 3 Legendary Broken. Warhammer. It well, okay, so this is not the only time, though, because you also so. gave me a flat plus 7. I think I had a 27 Charisma as a... Uh, oh, right, as a Paladin. Level 14 Paladin, <laughs> which uh. was just a mistake, I felt. But yeah. I felt great, man. I was like, I was, I could walk oh. up to anybody and be like, you believe me now. You are persuaded. You also had an- you almost also had an armor class of like twenty five. Oh, it was broke. Flat. Oh no, I had a flat thirty. It was a flat thirty, 30. until I took a yeah. long rest. So I just, I just pushed myself into exhaustion. You took uh, exhaustion uh, with, and yeah, so you were very right. hard to to touch both with spells and with weapons, and so. But in my opinion, that's fine. And a lot of times, when I, if I make a, you know, uh, a choice to give a player magic items whatever that might break them sometimes i might add caveats to them like that where it's like you have this until you take a long rest and you chose to just go with exhaustion rather than lose yeah. that because it was so good which and is that, good that was a great I like, like cap. i like the player choice Let because that allows you to choose what detriment do you want do you want to lose it or do you want to keep it and gain this other issue you know and so you can break players with caveats and so I just I don't think that there's truly any way to break the game without unbreaking it. I don't. Know. I mean that is true. I mean if you look at it from the perspective of you, you're the DM. You technically you have all power, so you can always throw mm-hmm. something else that's more powerful than what they already have. So it's a good point. But I think that also goes as well a little bit towards um, you as a DM. If you follow the rule books and the way that the monsters and everything are statted out, yes, there's probably a way that like you give a legendary item too mm. soon, you will break them That's because true. mechanically you work on the basis level. I do a lot of custom stuff with my games, and so if I give something to the players, I can make something that can you know contest that sure but still make them feel like and so i think it once again it depends on the dm um i'm i'm a very custom dm do you feel like that translates more into time on your part and prep and all those things because because yeah from my just painting this out real quick like uh if we aren't going by the books then you kind of are left up to you know you have to know your players, what they're capable of, and then you have to come up with something that can stretch them. Yeah, still. and a lot of times, like my monsters, unless they're a minion, they're not generic. They're mm-hmm. like you could, if I say that you're going up against, you know, a Minotaur warrior or an Abolith or something along a dragon, they're probably not exactly what if you were to just Google, you know, red dragon, ancient red dragon. Right. I've probably changed some things about it. It's not vanilla, and so. Dang you. Can't meta game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can't meta game in Dang my game, <laughs> and so I, because that's that's the power you have as the DM. You can control, yeah. you know, the aspects of of certain things. And but if if you don't do that and you just go by the books in that aspect, um, and everything vanilla, which is totally fine. I mean, the game as it is is a great game. But, I mean, there's tables in the back of the Dungeon Master's Guide by the magic items that you can kind of follow that help you, you know, depending on the level of your players, you know, what should you be giving out, how much of what. And so you can easily follow that. Um, I have just found that I just enjoy giving out magic items. And I probably should slow down. 
I probably should slow down, but why? Well, <laughs> you live and you learn, right? But why? Why? 